The land of peace. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is the largest Arab country in the Middle East and the second largest in the Arab world. The people of Saudi Arabia varies in their culture and their tradition of foods and are known for being generous and friendly. The Saudi people are very, very nice, very generous, very warm and welcoming and um, I think that they appreciate you know, that we have some skills that we can bring to the country and generally the patients are very happy to have us look after them and, uh, you know, I hope that we can make a difference by being here, bringing our experience and skills. But I'd recommend if anyone has the chance to come to Saudi, please. It's a great experience. You know, you'll see things that you've never imagined before. You'll do things that you've never imagined. And it's just a really exciting experience. So my recommendation would be to come and experience Saudi life and the culture and the warmth and hospitality of the people. Riyadh is the capital city and the largest city in Saudi Arabia. It is one of the richest cities in the Middle East and in the 80th richest city in the world. The architecture is mostly modern, including contemporary high-rise towers. People living in Riyadh can enjoy the diversity of international cuisine at modern malls, hotels and restaurants. From fine dining to the local hidden desert stall, the Riyadh selection is endless. Living and working um, in Riyadh has been an absolutely wonderful experience for me and I'm delighted to be part of the Centre of Nursing Education. Saudi Arabia houses numerous archaeological sites. Tourists cross the world to visit these historical landmarks to discover their mysterious behind their structure and learn about the people who lived in these fascinating archaeological wonders. The people are very, very friendly. I have no concerns ever about safety. As I often say to my colleagues and my family, I feel safer, truly, in Saudi Arabia than often I feel safe in Australia. Urban life in Saudi Arabia has taken a place at a steady rate over the last 10 years. For those who love to shop, modern shopping malls and open markets and souks are the places to spend leisure time. It's a very different culture and I find that every day brings new things to me. I learn new things. Saudi Arabia is also a dominated industrial country that plays a huge role in the market. It has the world's largest oil reserve and is the world's second largest oil exporter. The things that attracted me to Saudi Arabia uh, all those years ago was travel, was my initial thing. I was young and I wanted to see the world. The Ministry of National Guards Health Affairs is one of the health care providers in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and in the Middle East. It is known for its state-of-art health care facilities and services. It compromises of major medical cities, primary health care centers, research centers, colleges and universities. Experiences here, it's been um, quite amazing. I've had a lot of um, opportunities to learn and to maintain my skills and practice. The Ministry of National Guard Health Affairs has medical cities, hospitals and primary health care in all regions. These are composed of King Abdulaziz Medical City in Riyadh, King Abdulaziz Medical City in Jeddah, Imam Abdurrahman bin Faisal Hospital in Dammam, King Abdulaziz Hospital in Al Hasa, and Prince Muhammad bin Abdulaziz Hospital in Al Madinah. Each hospital is designed to accommodate a unique and contemporary design of patient units. Each unit has a nursing core with a view of a patio with the plants and flowers, which adds to the relaxing feelings and comfort to the patients while in the Ministry of National Guard's health affairs premises. Living in Saudi Arabia for the past nine years, it has been more exciting that I met my husband, life partner here. And in 2010, we got married and he's an Australian. So it is actually a mixed culture. Today, King Fahd National Guard Hospital has evolved to be a part of the King Abdulaziz Medical City with many other prominent medical centers. 
I would like to encourage everybody to come to Saudi Arabia because they can earn very good experience. National Guard has got a facilities all over the Saudi Arabia so they can get to know different places and experience the beautiful culture. I hadn't planned on being here so long, but it's turned out to be really a blessing for my career. I started as a, a staff nurse and I'm now um, the Associate Executive Director of Nursing Services in the second holiest city of Islam, Medina. They have lots of benefits here, good salary, good accommodation, and then you will have a good experience at work. With the amount of salary I get, I was able to help my families back home and also to improve the uh, economics and the living conditions of my family. Um, I've enjoyed working with the women of Saudi Arabia, which I get to do every day. And this is a culture that I never would have got to meet if I hadn't come here to work. I've been uh, working with so many expats and find this uh, very enjoyable uh, experience. And according to the expats that I'm working with, uh, they found it a uh, very enriching uh, experience to work with the uh, Saudis. I work with many locals and many different nationalities. All together, we make one team.